टू माई चैनल सो टूडे आई विल बी शेयरिंग विद यू हाउ टू अप्लाई पाउडर फाउंडेशन करेक्टली टू अवॉइड केकीनेस एंड ड्राइनेस ऑन योर फेस नो आई हैव ऑलरेडी प्रिप माई स्किन यूजिंग द टी ट्री सोल्यूशन फ्रॉम द बॉडी शॉप एंड आई हैव यूज द एलो जेल फ्रॉम द फेस शॉप एज माई मॉइस्चराइज सो बिफोर अप्लाइंग पाउडर फाउंडेशन आई विल बी फर्स्ट यूजिंग शार्लेट टिलबरीज हॉलीवुड फ्लॉलेस फिल्टर This is in the shade 4.5. You can use any stroke cream or anything that gives you glow. That's going to work amazing underneath the powder foundation. So I will be applying this on the highest points of my face, not like all over. I'm just applying right there. So currently my skin is oily combination. So now I've applied this uh, on my face. I will be just blending it with my brush. So now you can see my face has such a nice glow. It just looks so much more healthy and plump. I just absolutely love this product. It looks so good on skin. Now next step is I will be correcting my under eyes. As you can see, I have pretty bad under eyes and I will be correcting them first just in case you don't have dark circles. You can totally skip this uh, step. I'm going to apply it underneath my eye. The corrector that I'm using that is Smashbox Becca corrector in the shade medium dark. They have, I believe, uh, five shades of uh, correctors, and they are pretty good. Like they are tacky, they just holds on your concealer. Like I'm really hooked with this product. Orange tone basically shows up a lot on me. Like I have to then apply too much concealer or too much foundation just to hide that orangeness. So instead of using orange, I use this medium dark. and uh, this how the shade looks like of the corrector just in case you're wondering so yeah so now that my correction is all done underneath my eyes now there are two ways of applying powder foundation one is before concealer and one is after concealer so just in case you're using a heavy duty concealer which is matte waterproof and uh, extraordinary like long lasting and uh, self setting then definitely go for concealer first and then powder foundation and if in case you're using medium to full coverage concealer which is lightweight uh, liquidy and uh, you know easily blendable then we can actually use the concealer after applying the powder foundation which is what i'm going to do in this video so now when my correction is done we have a healthy glow on our face it's a time to apply powder foundation So I'm using the Mac Studio Fix powder foundation in this shade NC35. That's what the shade is. I will be doing half of my face first so that you can actually compare and see how much coverage it gives. For the application, I'm just going to stamp the brush and dust off the excess also the brush that i'm using it is sigma f80 flat kabuki brush so now i'm just going to apply first i'm just stamping and then i'm just swiping with very little swipes So now half of my face is done. You can see how much coverage it has given me and I still have that glow on my face. So that is why I suggest you to apply any product that has glow in it underneath your powder foundation. It's just going to do wonders. Let me complete this side of my face as well. So now when I've applied the powder foundation all over my face let me zoom in you guys a little bit so that you can see how my skin looks like so I did not cover my acne scars they are still peeking through but that's okay in I don't know my camera is picking up a lot actually if I see in real off camera they are not that much visible as much they are visible on camera so for setting up my face and melting this powder into my skin like a flawless base i'm using this one you can use any 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 fixing spray you need not to have the same one you just need a fixing spray i'm 
I'm just going to take a clean beauty blender and just stamp it or dab it on my skin with a very light and gentle hand. Now my foundation is all set. I'm ready to apply my concealer. Let me apply that very quickly and I will show you guys how it looks on my face. After spot correcting, I'm going to use my beauty blender, the same one. I'm just going to dab it on my face, like where I've applied the concealer. Just with a very light hand, I don't want it to move around. Now I'm going to set my under eyes. And for the under eyes setting, I'm going to use the same powder foundation. Just going to take a bit, dust off the excess and apply underneath. For the blush, I'm using this Pixie on the Globe blush. I just received it today, so this is going to be like the first time of me applying this blush. And I'm going to take the Beauty Blender again. So I'm going to take the bottom of this Beauty Blender. Just going to take, by the way, this is in the shade Flur. So I'm just going to take a, a bit from the Beauty Blender and apply it on my face. It's not showing much. Oh yeah, it's showing up on camera actually. But in real, it's showing very light. I love how pretty the shade looks like. You know what, I think I should apply direct. Look at the glow guys like it doesn't even look I have used the powder foundation so yeah let me just apply my lip product and I'll be right back guys this was it for the video you can see how flawless this powder foundation looks on me I absolutely love it so if you want to avoid all the cakiness dryness from the powder foundation these are the some tips and tricks I'm going to be sharing with you from this video. Make sure you prep your skin nicely with whatever product you use. Next step is use anything that has really nice glow in it. Once you have applied powder foundation, make sure to set it. Set it with a setting spray. Set your makeup, let the powder melt into your skin and become like flawless. And then apply your concealer, spot conceal it and that's it. This is just so easy to apply powder foundation. So that's it for this video. Make sure you like, share and subscribe to this channel if you haven't done yet. And I will see you in my next one. Till then you all take care. Bye.